My neighbor's chickens have been getting ransacked, and at the moment, we don't know what animal has been doing this. We live in the mountains in Kentucky, where literally every predator would love to eat a chicken. Everything from a coyote, fox, bobcat, raccoon, skunk, possum, you get the point. There's a lot of possibilities. My neighbor did say she's seen some coyotes walking through her yard, so it's probably a pretty safe bet to start here. We're setting coyote traps. We're gonna be using traps like the ones from Bambi and we're gonna be setting what we call a dirt hole set. Step one, put the trap in the ground and then cover it over with some dirt, pretty much making it invisible. Next, we make our dirt hole about 10 inches deep, pull out some of our nasty looking bait and put it down in the hole and then finish it off with a little twinkle of fox pee. If one of those coyotes come through here, I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna be hard for him to pass this thing up. I spent the rest of the day setting traps here, there and yonder in all the different places I think these coyotes might pass through. And now that the sun's gone down, we're going and nighttime thermal hunting. And this should be perfect for any kind of predator looking for an easy meal in the close vicinity. First things first, this is my AR-15 and I got it loaded up with a thermal scope so that we can see the heat coming off animals and see them before they see us. Next, we have our predator call. This is pretty much a big speaker and it's gonna be blasting sounds of dying rabbits. The coyotes, you're gonna love it. And then after that, we got a tripod so that I can make really steady shots. Besides that, that's pretty much all we're taking. We just gotta get out there, set it all up, and then we're gonna get going. All right, guys, we picked out our spot. We're actually on this little hill. If you pan around, can you see? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, we can see a pretty good little valley. I'm scanning with the thermal just to see if there's a coyote out here. Way over there by that barn, there's something on the left and something on the right. Two heat signatures, I can't tell what they are. As I scan through the rest of the field, I can definitely tell we got four deer. And we've got something over there by that barn. I'm gonna go set the call down there in the field, and then it's game on. Put one in it. Now we're turning on the call. I'm gonna go with a little rabbit distress. Here we go. You hear that? We're gonna start off quiet, and then throughout the night, We'll bump it out, make it a little louder each time. After calling for a few minutes, we found out those two animals near the barn were actually deer. But then, something else showed up. So was this the mystery critter that had been killing the chickens? Well, we don't really know. And it looks like we're not gonna find out because this old dude never came back out and we never seen him again. Over the next couple of nights, nothing much was happening until I got the text from my neighbor that the predator had attacked again. And this time it was pretty devastating. Wow, up there? Yeah, come in right there. See how that's tore up? Yeah. I didn't have the board. Put the board there. That was part of that open. I had six tiny chickens in here, the little tiny ones, the bantams or whatever. Mm -hmm. We did find this. This was the, like, the first time we've seen anything. You can tell something has dug there. That's where it drug. I'll show you in the other side. Oh. It drug all the chickens to that corner. Right here's where it got most of them. It would pull in their heads that way and just took the heads off. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you found them, where were they and what they look like? The bodies weren't touched. They were untouched. Just the heads slick off and the crop gone. Mm. Mm -hmm. Were they kind of just scattered wherever? They were mostly in that corner. There was three different occurrences. It started on the 19th and then five days later and then four days later. So the last time, one it pulled one plumb to this door and it was laying here. Killed five the last time. And then he's the only one left. All the Americanas. We've had chickens for three years. Never had a problem. Hmm. And there's no tracks. No way. Yeah. I looked all around the barn. I can't find any tracks anywhere. Um, could be a raccoon. Could be a mink. I've never seen a mink before. I ain't either. But they say they're nocturnal, so if even they could be everywhere and you wouldn't know it. Yeah. But I know that little creek and these ponds. 
That's where they lock. All right, guys, so I'm down here in the creek just looking around, seeing what I can see. Listening from what they're saying, I don't think our problem is a coyote at all. I think it could potentially be something a lot worse. There's this little graph out here that kind of lets you know what killed your chicken. You can see the different characteristics, and by this one, it's probably not a coyote, because if a coyote gets the chickens, there's no evidence at all. But here, they would actually rip the head off, eat the crawl, and that's pretty much it. That lets us believe it's probably either gonna be potentially a mink. A mink is part of the weasel family, and these things are absolute killers. They live on the edge of streams, and if these guys get in your chicken coop, it's pretty much game over. They say mink kills chickens for nothing more than to just drink their blood. With these clues, it could also be a raccoon, which in my opinion are pretty much miniature grizzly bears. They'll eat anything that doesn't eat them first. Raccoons are big, strong, and they have fingered hands with thumbs just like humans, making them even more of a threat to breaking in places. And once they find a chicken coop, they're gonna keep coming back and back until there's no chickens left at all. I walked the rest of the creek, paying close attention, trying to find tracks, dookie, literally whatever sign of animals I could find. But to be honest, I just didn't find anything. When it comes down to trapping these two critters, I have never even seen a mink before, so we're probably just gonna have to wait on that. As for raccoons, I'm pretty proficient in that, so I set out some dog proofs and set out some trail cameras. And later that night, I teamed up with my long-haired cousin Tate, and we're going coon hunting. We ready to rock and roll? We're ready to roll and rock. We're taking the two-prong approach on these raccoons. We're going trapping, and then we go in coon doggy. Three, two, one, go. Get in there. Get us a coon. That's what we need. We need a coon. They ought to be here now. Yeah. They're everywhere. Now, earlier this evening, before it got dark, we did kind of have an idea that it could be a mink. You had a little bit of experience with a mink. How did that go? Uh, Well, actually, I had him on trail camera. Yeah. But I never could catch him. They're extreme, I, I'm sure you know this, extremely hard to catch. That's what I've heard. I've been watching so many videos, I've not figured out anything. Yeah, they're really tough. I know they're like blood like crazy. <laughs> like they get in chickens really good, they'll kill them all and just leave them. Well, here's what we heard. She said she, had, she had 15 chickens in this one lot. One night showed up, three was left, and they's all stacked in the corner. That sounds like a and potentially a mink, but a raccoon can do the same thing. Just tell them if it's a raccoon, we're good. If it's a mink, couldn't be a lot hairier than what it is. This is gonna be a situation. Yeah. Either way, we're coon hunting tonight. We gonna do something. All right, guys, well, we got one. It's not a raccoon, but it's something very similar. It is a possum, and I tell you what, these guys will destroy chickens if given the chance. Moral of the story, if this possum wasn't the chicken killer, he will be in the next year because chickens are just too easy for a possum to pass up. I can't confirm that this is the predator that's been eating the chickens, but what I can confirm is that we better can confirm him out of this world with my 20. Perf. There we go. These traps are set and uh, ready to catch something else. As I was passing by, they were saying they had something else happen last night. I went ahead and checked these traps first, so let's ride on over there and see what they said. When I got back to talk to them, they said that they actually seen something scaling the inside of the barn, and now they have a new tunnel that have been dug up in the barn as well. They said that whatever they saw, it was about the size of a squirrel, and it's left no tracks. At this point, if I had to guess, that kind of sounds like a rat. So I went ahead, bought some rat traps, baited them up with peanut butter, and set them in places I feel like rats may be. After checking the trail cameras from the night before, I didn't feel like I seen anything, but I wanted to take it home and check it on the computer just to make sure. Right here's when it gets dark. Looks like they're just in there working on it. They said they were gonna fence up some more stuff, but right here once they stop working is whenever we really need to be watching. Now this is, that's just a cat. They have cats. Keep in mind, they have cats. All right, so right here, we got our first picture of an animal. That is a rabbit. Now, they actually have rabbits, too. That's not a chicken killer, okay? To say the least. All right, here we got something. But once again, I think that's one of their cats. Next video, we got a deer right here. Extremely freaked out, but I don't think that's our chicken killer. Moving on. We have this over here that I don't think is a cat. I can't confirm this is not a cat, but just from this picture, I can't tell. That don't look like a cat, though. Its legs look a little too short. Dude, I just can't tell what that is, but that could be exactly what our problem is. But I don't know if this is a cat or if this is just a mink. 
I didn't think it was a mink, but it could be. I think for now, we just leave those rat traps set. Leave those coon traps set and see what happens uh, tonight. I hopped on the computer and started studying that if this is a mink, how can I catch it? But that didn't last too long before I got another text of some bad news. My neighbor actually seen a long slender animal. Couldn't tell what it was, but it was around seven o'clock. After looking around, that's when he figured out that another cage had been dug into and two out of three roosters had been killed. Whatever this mystery critter may be, there's one thing for sure. It's not done killing and it doesn't look like it's gonna stop anytime soon. All right, guys, here's my strategy. It may not be perfect, but it's something. I know that this critter has a hole here and a hole here. I got traps setting at both of them. And overnight, I'm gonna leave this can of fresh sardines. We're gonna come back in the morning, see if we caught anything. And if not, has anything eaten the sardines? And then hopefully figure something else out tomorrow. I'm trying my best, I'm trying my best. But unfortunately, my best may just not be good enough. But we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Catch you tomorrow. The next day, the traps didn't catch anything and the sardines were still intact. But we did find some fresh sign of where the predator had been digging. I grabbed some of my cage traps and set them up in line with the walls, hoping that maybe we'd get lucky and he'd just walk into them by accident. But at this point, we're still just hoping for the best. <laughs> It has officially been three nights that we've had the traps out. Nothing in the cage traps, nothing in the dog proofs, nothing in the rat traps. Last night, we didn't catch anything, but the predator sure did. Guys, it's about six hours later. We have another update. I don't know, if, I don't think it happened middle of the day. I think it happened last night, but we didn't notice till today, but something got in there and has struck again. What in the world? And this is pretty rough kill too. That's a weird kill scary kill. This was attached to that. And if you look down, this is what's scary. There's the chicken. There's the chicken's head. What? <sighs> Every single day, something else happens and I think it's a different animal. I guess one thing for sure, I'm getting experience, I guess. Any footprints on this? Did it come from the bottom maybe? You can see there's blood there. There's blood over here. I can see some claws right here, but I can't tell exactly what that might have been from. The apex predator, whatever it may be, has been striking daily, or should I say nightly, and whatever it is, I've not been able to stop it. I don't think this is raccoon. Those teeth marks are so small, placed directly on the back of the neck. I don't like it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I might have something right here. As I look down in the creek, you can see right here and right there, and even right there, that's where something's been walking through the creek. When I look through here, that looks like where something may have just walked through. I'm gonna grab one of the smaller traps and I'm gonna stick it down in that pot. I know that mink are aquatic and that would definitely make sense, but then I also know that mink are one of the hardest animals to trap, let alone for someone who's never even seen a mink before. But either way, here's what I'm doing. Sticking this cage trap back into the pot and uh, well, I'm gonna do it just like that. I'm gonna hope for the best. I guess I'm just gonna catch y'all tomorrow because as for now, I don't really know what else to do. Moved on to the rat traps, nothing. Onto the cage traps, nothing. And last but definitely not least, let's check the trap I stuck in the pot. No stinking way. We got the mink. Let's stinky go. There's no way. I can't believe it. Reed, we got him. This is crazy. I've never even seen a mink before. What? We got him! Oh Let's go! God. That's crazy! That's the culprit. Watch him. He's mean. Look, he's mad. Hey, you watch him. He's mean to eat you up. Oh, I'd say so. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh. 17 chickens. 17 total? I think so. And as for old Jason Bourne, we're definitely getting this guy mounted. Click it right here if you want to see us hunt down and eat the coyotes that kill my dog. Or right over here for another epic trapping video.